another brushing tool, controversial, but I like to use them, the Furminator. It basically just has a grooming comb attached to a handle. Um, I don't like using them on longer coat dogs or that thicker double coat. I prefer to use them on smoother, oops, sorry, double coats like Bella or Coral here. Let's do Coral. Short little brushes, little strokes. This is really good at getting your undercoat. Ooh, some floof there. So you can see it's really good at getting all that undercoat. Yeah. <laughs> but if you use it on a dog like Daisy here, who has a bit of a longer top coat, see how it's a bit longer than Coral's, as well as that undercoat, you could actually break and damage that top coat. You will still get undercoat out, but it can do damage to that top coat. So I like to use this on smoother double coated dogs like Coral. And double coat, you have that top coat, this harder layer of fur, right? This stuff here, and then your undercoat, let me get some of it for you, <laughs> is that floofier stuff that lies underneath those top hairs. Ooh, look at that, that's a snow day. Top tools, this here is a shedding blade. There's different size teeth on both sides of this comb. There's a handle. Daisy, come. They work good on your double coat breeds, like Daisy here, Daisy, Cheech. Good work on Penny and Bella. A little bit on Stanley. Who it won't work on is Louie. He's not a double coated dog. He's a Cavachon. And then it wouldn't work so well on Juca down here either, who's also not a double coated dog, a Dougal. So how this works, Daisy, come. Good girl, wait. Is I'm gonna use the smaller size teeth on her and you just go with the coat. And you'll see it starts to pick up and send off some of these top coats. It mostly, it does get your undercoat, but it also get off some of these top coats hairs here. So there's one on Daisy. She's a Lab Shepherd mix. You can see how that works. Cheech being an Aussie. Hang on, Goo. Cheech, wait. He's got a much longer coat, as you can see. Still collects that hair. Brush up is your slicker brush. Um, handle and your typically metal teeth that are kind of out and bent so these i will say be careful with this metal will stab you it will stab your dog so be very careful when you do when you go with your dog do short brushes level with your dog dogs i like to use these on it will work on your doodles your single coated dogs here your doodles like louie and juca um, it will work on your long coat double coated dogs. Yes ma'am, so you'll pull out that undercoat. It will work, not as well, but it will work on your shorter smooth coat double coated dogs. There, you can get some more fuzz. Um, Stanley, who's also not really a double coated dog, but he's got longer thicker hair. This will work great on that. Daisy! Great for getting out this undercoat. And I'm using it short little brushes as I go down the body trying to keep it level with the body so I'm not sticking them with those teeth. But as you can see, it is great at collecting that fuzz. Tricks to getting the fuzz out. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do this one. So tricks to getting the fuzz out, because you don't wanna stab yourself when you grab it like this, you're very likely to stab your knuckle, your thumb, what have you. So going from the top and kind of pushing the hair down is an option. My favorite way is to get a comb and just pop it out like that. To our comb. There are many types of combs. I typically prefer the full metal comb. Um, metal handle, metal teeth all the way up and down. It's just not what I have right now in my bag as we're going through these. But comb, small teeth, handle. I do prefer, let's see if you can get it, to try and find rounded tips on the comb so they're not straight, blunt, stabby. These will work great on all your dog's coats. Won't do much for these guys, the smooth 
shorter coat, but it will get under coat and top coats and mats and things. Well, mats you should deal separately, but knots out of your longer coated dogs. It will work with your doodle coats to get out knots and just kind of undo some tangles. It will work with your shorter fats. Come here. Fatsy doesn't really have long top coat, but she's got a bit of a longer top coat. And again, it's really good. Oh gosh, I got to brush you at getting that undercoat out. So combs are very useful. Another type of comb or brush. This is a rake. <laughs> Rounded teeth. These guys spin. The teeth actually spin on the comb. Uh, this is really good for your longer coated double coat dogs. Let me see you, Daisy. You're just so well brushed. I'm not going to find much on you. But come here. My dog's a mess. Let's do that one. Good. <laughs> but just run it along the body. It will brush some of it off just blowing in the wind, but usually starts to collect it. I really like using these on my longer coated double coated dogs because it's a chance for me to brush through that longer top coat as well as get down into that undercoat. Don't judge me. I gotta brush my dogs. We do it every week. They shed, you know. Oh gosh. But you can see it's a very effective tool. Great one to have in your bag. Last brush I'm gonna go over is your curry comb, your curry brush. It is just rubber tipped brushes. This one is for a horse but works great for dogs. I use it on all coat types. Maybe not Stanley, Oops, Stanley down there. Juca, there he is. Or on Louie, because those guys aren't really big shedders, right? They don't have the double coat. Um, their top coats tend to be a bit different of a texture. And this doesn't really do much, but great for your smoother coated dogs, right, Bean? Of getting the top coat or yeah that top coat and your undercoat out great at getting those little stray hairs works well on your longer coated dogs but my favorite time to really use these is in the bath as my dog is soaked up i just take this through and we'll kind of go up and down even against the grain here and just give them a little back massage with some soap as they're getting their bath but super handy you can see it collects some of the stuff Maybe not as well as those other brushes, but still handy. The last brush I want to talk about is this guy right here. It's just a rubber brush with lots of soft rubber bristles. Um, unfortunately, there's no brand on this guy. I have had this for years. I absolutely love this thing. It's one of my favorite, and here's why. You've got fuzz. You've got the finer, the undercoat fuzz that sticks to you those top coats that weave into your shirt. Look at that, it's actually woven into my shirt there. This guy's for you, check this out. No need to go through tons of those sticky sheets. Uh, this thing works amazing. It works on upholstery, works on shirts. Easy to use, barely sticks to the brush. If it does, you just kind of grab at it and go. Sorry, I don't know the name. I'm pretty sure if you just Google like a rubber um, brush to remove dog hair, you'd be able to find it, but get yourself one of these. Cannot recommend enough. 